Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, then welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. My channel aims to bring you quality setups, tutorials, tips, guides and tours from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So do check out my other videos too. And please do like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, as it really helps get my videos out there. In today's short video, I want to announce that the OpenXR Toolkit Beta 3 version 1.0.1 .1 is now available to download. If you're interested in seeing a detailed and first look at this great tool, as well as my best settings, you can check the link above. And do remember to tune into my channel for exclusive coverage of this amazing tool. I'm pleased to be part of the team and aim to be the go-to channel bringing you future updates first. With fixed favorited rendering, or FFR, the resolution is adjusted so that the center region of the image is rendered at the highest resolution to provide maximum clarity. The rest is rendered at a lower resolution because your eyes are less sensitive to the quality of the image in the peripheral region. And also because the distortion created by the lenses in your VR headset will effectively compress pixels in those regions. The use of fixed foveated rendering can be combined with the NIS and FSR upscaling capabilities of the OpenXR Toolkit to achieve even greater performance. Also, it does not interfere with any of the other features such as the world scale. Unlike the NIS and FSR upscaling options, fixed foveated rendering can be conveniently configured without the need to leave and re-enter VR, and the increased frame rate is noticeable immediately. As I said, the linked video will give you a much more detailed overview and I'll go into my settings in more depth. And here are my best settings, which I'm still using. These are the same settings that I used with the unreleased build two weeks ago. So nothing's changed there. And please leave your questions or comments about the toolkit and we can discuss it right here on the channel. As always, I hope you find this content useful. And I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.